So I had someone uh, ask me the other day, well, Tio, if real estate investing is so awesome and so great, why doesn't everyone learn about it in school? And why doesn't everyone do it? Well, if everyone learned about it in school and everyone did it, you wouldn't have any people sitting in a cubicle hating their lives for 30, 40 years working a corporate job. So <laughs> that answers that. But I think that literally, no matter how much money you make, no matter what you do, using real estate, I think almost anyone, even making minimum wage, if you can be smart with your money and save and put certain money aside every month, I think realistically any person in 10 years could acquire enough rental properties, and let's just say single families for this example, to, I think in 10 years, be able to, and this is literally just using your own money. You could use other people's money to do this. And even if you had no job, you could do this, right? Um, but I think in 10 years, not even being super aggressive, not even doing anything crazy, you could literally retire in 10 years. Anyone could, no matter, like I said, no matter how much money you have, no matter how much education you have, no matter anything. Because I would say in six months, you could probably get like a master's degree in how investing in real estate works because of YouTube and Google and all this other stuff. And then you could apply that find some, you don't even have to get crazy deals. Like if you get crazy deals, you, you could be so much further ahead. But if you just get good deals that cash flow decently, I would honestly think that any single person, like I said, no matter how much you make, no matter whatever, and let's just say in 10 years, you could acquire however many rental properties you need, would want to be able to live the life you want, right? Like if all you need is, I don't know, three, four thousand dollars a month to live, you know, that's not a crazy amount of money, but a lot of people still don't make that a month, right? You could get rentals to cover that. And then that's even if you manage them, right? Maybe if you have property management, you need a few more rentals, right, to cover that. but if you wanted to do that, you could literally do whatever you want and those 40 hours a week that you spend at work, you could not spend at work and doing something you enjoy and then you would just have to take your rentals, right? So, a long way to question, but that's kind of what my response was because Right. Think about it this way. If someone told me in high school that, hey, instead of blowing all your money on cars and four wheelers and snowmobiles and all the other obviously really fun stuff I've had, if you'd spend that money on real estate, right, just invest it. Maybe I wouldn't even have enough money to like invest by myself, but instead of, I, I think I would have because I spent a lot of money on stupid shit. But if I would have spent all that money on real estate, I could have quit my job or not even maybe had that engineering job because I would have had enough money to keep doing what I wanted to do and keep buying rentals and everything else, right? So, yeah, anyone, no matter how much you make, no matter what your economic status is, can get into real estate in one form or another and be, I think, self-sufficient off of real estate rentals in this example within 10 years is super long and I think you should be able to do that like no problem but you could realistically probably do it in five years you could probably even do it even sooner if you are good at using other people's money leveraging other people's money to obviously get you a return and get the person that money you're using as a return but yeah 
Yeah, so what I was saying was, if someone would have told me in high school, like, hey, buy like 10 rentals, <laughs> and then you would not have to go to college or do anything of that, why would I ever go to college and be stressed out over doing exams and everything that I learned in college that I don't remember, like all the equations, all the math classes, all the nights that I stayed up late stressing out trying to pass these exams and that, like, well, what was the point of that, right? What was the point of going to college and then going to a job that I hated to just quit it and still pay my student loans <laughs> to this day, right? Like, there's no point in it. That's, that, that's kind of like what I'm getting at. Like, since everyone was taught how you could leverage money and use real estate, or not even, well, yeah, you kind of use real estate, but use real estate to have all the things you want in life. Why would anyone go to college or put themselves through the hell that I think we are taught to put ourselves through to end up making the living we want just to get there and see that it's not the living we want. But anyway, this video is dragging on, so I <laughs> hope this made sense. But that's the answer. Why would anyone? That's why it doesn't get taught, because if everyone knew how simple it was, and not that it's simple, but if everyone knew the little secret sauce, I guess, why would anyone do anything else? Why would anyone not just work as hard as they possibly could, buy a bunch of rentals, however many rentals they needed to make however much money they wanted to live the life they wanted. And then once they had that, they could just go live their life and not essentially work another day in their life. Why would anyone do that? Right? No one would work. But yeah, obviously we need people to work. But that's why no one gets taught that. So anyway, I hope you have a great night. Let me know if you have any questions.